Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking and interviewing the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico, which honestly I'm indeed quite excited to try for the first time, as honestly these are a mystery. There is literally zero information online about these cigarettes right here. So as such, I'm very, very, very excited to unravel the mystery of, well, the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes and to let you guys know how they actually are. But I do think without further ado, though, now that I've gone ahead and gone over why I'm excited to try these cigarettes and everything like that. It is now time for me to go ahead and tell you guys my expectations for, well, the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico. So what are my expectations for these cigarettes right here? Well, taste-wise, I'm pretty much just expecting these to be a normal Mexican full-flavored cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. Definitely, I'm expecting these to be a lot more sour than sweet. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? There might be a tinge of sweetness in there, but I'm definitely expecting these to be much more sour than sweet. That is for sure. Body-wise, I'm not really expecting the biggest body in the world. These are indeed a full flavor, but they are also a 100 size. So as such, I'm definitely not expecting the biggest body in the world, that is for sure. But as we get through the cigarette, I'm definitely expecting the body to just get slightly bigger, you know what I'm saying? And roughness-wise, I'm not really expecting these to be super rough, nor am I expecting them to be super smooth or anything like that. Probably just about a 5 out of 10. But one thing I'm very certain about is are that these are going to get me quite buzzed, you know what I'm saying? Because there is indeed 0 0.8 milligrams of nicotine in these cigarettes right here. So as such, I certainly am expecting to get me, I certainly am expecting them to get me quite buzzed, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado, though, now that I've gone ahead and told you guys my expectations for well the montana shots red 100 cigarettes from mexico it is now time for me to go ahead and well move on to the packaging of these cigarettes right here after that i'm going to go ahead and get the cellophane all off go ahead and get the pack all open up go ahead and get one of the cigarettes out let you guys know how the cigarettes look how they feel what the quality of them is like you know what i'm saying and then after that i'm going to go ahead and get one of the montana red one of the montana shots red 100 cigarettes from mexico all lit up and go ahead and let you guys know what i actually think of these cigarettes right here almost forgot the name you know what i'm saying almost forgot the name but as said without further ado let's go ahead and first off cover the packaging which i will admit right off the bat i'm really not a fan of i'm really not a big fan of this packaging i don't think it's pretty packaging i don't think it's artistic packaging i don't even think it's particularly good from a graphic perspective point of view they don't really stand out to me on the shelf and everything like that besides the red line right here and everything like that you know what i'm saying and honestly i really don't like the look of these cigarettes or anything like that kind of thing there is quite literally no embossment on this packaging or anything like that so there really are no redeeming factors in my personal opinion but i'm gonna cover it either way you know what i'm saying i'm gonna cover it either way but we can just see that right in the center right here where pretty much every thing is you know what i'm saying we could just see the background for well where the logo is and everything like that you know what i'm saying it's just a very very nice red ribbon going all the way across the packaging right there you know what i'm saying and then we can see the logo itself shots right here you know what i'm saying it's just in a very very nice white text you know what i'm saying no sort of drop shadow no sort of borders or anything like that kind of thing it is just white text and it just says s h and then a bigger o and then t s right there you know what i'm saying and you guys might be wondering why the o itself is bigger well that's because it says 20 on the inside and you guys might be wondering well why is there 20 on the inside and everything like that kind of Thing. Well, that is because this is a 20 pack of cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? There are 20 cigarettes inside this pack, and that is a signifier to let you know how many cigarettes are in the pack and everything like that kind of thing. So if you buy a 25 pack of shots, it's going to say 25 in the center and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? If you buy a 15 pack, then it's going to say 15 in the center and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Which honestly is a cool little gimmick. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, but still not enough to bring it back to a piece of packaging that I really like. You know what I'm saying? Moving on from the actual logo and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? We can just see two sort of bars right here. You know what I'm saying? Two red bars right here and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And both of these have very, very little drop shadows, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of a black drop shadow on the edge right here, you know what I'm saying? Both of them have that, which is honestly very, very nice. It's a slightly different red than the actual label and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Or the actual like background for all of this and everything like that. It's just slightly lighter, I definitely have to say. And we could just see some very light lines going all the way through that right there and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And I will admit it is a little bit odd because that's kind of like Paul Mall's thing, like the two bars and everything like that. That's kind of Paul Mall's thing. But then we've got the shots over here with the two bars and everything like that which I honestly do find pretty funny. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But overall, certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But under the bars right there and under the logo right here, we can just see a nice silver line going all the way down, you know what I'm saying? A very, very nice metallic silver line, as we can see, with some darker spots over here and some lighter spots over here and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But over here, it says Montana, because these are indeed the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico, you know what I'm saying? I'm not exactly sure why. I looked at some older pieces of packaging from this brand and everything like that, and honestly, I like the older packaging a lot more than I like this packaging, that is for sure. But they used to be like Montana really, really big and center and everything like that kind of thing. And then it said, said shots under it and everything like that. And it seems to me like they've been phasing out the whole sort of Montana brand and everything like that and just trying to make it into the shots brand. I wonder if they're trying to separate themselves from the sort of like American mindset and everything like that kind of thing or just from America in general kind of thing and just make it where these aren't trying being sold as an American cigarette but are instead being sold as a Mexican cigarette or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It is very, very interesting, but it does.
does indeed still say Montana in that very, very nice metallic silver nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? Very, very interesting how they've been changing the packaging over the years. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Same. But other than that, we can just see some lines going all the way down the packaging right here. You know what I'm saying? We can just see some lines going all the way down the packaging right here, which is all in a nice metallic silver as well. You know what I'm saying? Except when it goes through the red right here, which it kind of goes to just sort of like very, very light red. I definitely have to say the lines going through the red bars right here are definitely about the same lightness as the lines going through. Like I would definitely have to say somewhat diagonally vertically. I would definitely have to say, you know what I'm saying? Instead of horizontally vertically, instead of horizontally vertically, instead of horizontally diagonally, like these lines right here. You know what I'm certainly no complaints on my behalf a very interesting look but not really a look i like in all honesty you know what i'm saying and then we get to well this cigarette and everything being new you know what i'm saying because we, because we can see right here there's just like a yellow label right here with some black drop shadow and in a red font on it it just says new nuevo right there you know what i'm saying which of course just means new in spanish and then we could just see another or another yellow tab right here this time without any drop shot or anything like that kind of thing once again just saying miso sabor mas largos which just means same flavor and it says, or I think it actually means, because I looked this up before the video and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I looked this up before the video, but I think it just says bigger, but same taste. I think that's pretty much what it says. I'm pretty sure it says larger, but same taste or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Which honestly does make sense. I guess the I guess the Shots Red 100s are a new cigarette and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? And I guess they've only been selling the shorts for a decent amount of time, you know what I'm saying? But either way, certainly no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? Overall though, that's pretty much all there is to the central part of the packaging right here and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Moving on to the bottom, we can see the overall background for the packaging besides the red and everything up here and besides the diagonal vertical lines right here and everything like that kind of thing. It's just a very, very nice white and everything like that you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf we can see the montana shot sort of shield of arms right here or something like that kind of thing just two lines on either side with the crown and then just some sort of like pawn or something in the center and everything like that you know what i'm saying once again and a nice metallic silver and everything like that sadly not embossed you know what i'm saying and then right here we can just see it just says contains 20 cigarettes right there and a nice white font with a red border going all the way around it you know what i'm saying and that's pretty much all there is to the packaging really not the biggest fan of this packaging i'm not don't really think it looks pretty. I don't really think it looks good. There are some cool things about it. Don't get me wrong kind of thing. I definitely think that the two bars right here that look very, very similar to like the Paul Mall bars and everything like that kind of thing are very interesting. That is for sure. And I definitely do like how they incorporated the whole contains 20 cigarettes inside the actual logo itself. I think that's cool. I'm just really not a big fan of how the packaging looks overall, especially with the yellow labels all over and everything like that kind of thing. I do suppose if I had just waited another month or so kind of thing, they might've gone away. But either way though, I'm still really just not that big of a fan of the packaging, even without the labels and everything like that kind of thing. But that certainly is what it is. I'm not gonna like every piece of cigarette packaging that I come across, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But moving on to the warning label right here, we could just see the warning label just says, Fumar causa cancer de pulmon, which of course just means smoking causes cancer of the lung. And we could just see some guy with a big ass hole in his back and everything like that kind of thing. That looks a little bit gory certainly not a big fan that is for sure you know what i'm saying but that's not going to stop me from smoking that is for sure and i do think without further ado it is now time for me to go ahead and summarize my thoughts on the front of the packaging as I'm sure you guys can tell, I'm not really the biggest fan of the front of the packaging. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's the most terrible look in the world. That is for sure. I don't think the cigarette packaging is like super low quality or anything like that kind of thing, but I'm just not a really big fan of the design. I don't really think it stands out on the shelf all that much kind of thing, especially compared to something iconic like the Marlboro Reds. That is for sure. Overall, it definitely does stand out on the shelf somewhat just because it has the red line going all the way across, but I'm still really just not the biggest fan of this packaging in general. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I do think without further ado though, it is now time for us to go ahead and move on to the side of the packaging right here and we could just see the red sort of label right there just goes all the way to the side of the packaging and just kind of merges in right there you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf that is for sure and one thing i didn't actually mention one thing i just noticed is that the really light lines on this side actually get darker on this side kind of thing they kind of go to like sort of like gray lines instead of being like very very light almost like beige lines or something like that right there that is actually pretty interesting and something i didn't notice until i took a little bit of a closer look you know what i'm saying i don't think there's any other details to the front of the packaging so as said i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the side of the packaging right here we can see that the side of the packaging just the the side of the packaging oh my goodness going all over my words just a little bit you know what i'm saying get my words all jumbled up but it certainly is what it is you know what i'm saying but we can see the side of the packaging the overall color for the side of the packaging it's just a very very nice red color you know what i'm saying the same red color that we can see on the front of the packaging right here you know what i'm saying and we can just see in silver it just says bat right here because of course these are indeed made by british american tobacco and it's just got two lines right there you know what i'm saying we can see under that 
It just says that this has 13 milligrams of tar, it has 0.8 milligrams of nicotine, and that this cigarette contains 14 milligrams of carbon monoxide, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. That's certainly not enough to stop me from smoking these cigarettes either, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? And then we can see under that, there's just more silver. All the text on here is silver and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But we can see these are just produced by British American Tobacco Mexico, uh, SADCV Francisco, one Maduro, 2750 PTE Call Centro Monterey and L CP 64000 MR Hencho and Mexico. So these are indeed made in Mexico, which makes sense because the shots brand, from what I know, at least is unique to Mexico, you know what I'm saying? And then we can just see under that it just says www.batmexico.com.mx. And then we can see there's a little bit of a phone number that you can call if you'd like to call them and everything like that, which just says 800 400 5000. So that's pretty much all there is to that right there and everything like that. We can see it just says Paraventa Exclusiva in Mexico, which of course just means for exclusive sale in Mexico. And then under that, we can just see the barcode right here. And then we can see the cigarette numbers right here. And the cigarette numbers for this pack, for this pack are 0240FU7V69, xn 81 e 710950 those are the numbers for the cigarette pack right here, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And that's pretty much all there is to the side of the packaging right here, you know what I'm saying? Moving on to the top though, we can see the top of the packaging is pretty much just the red label right here, but bigger, you know what I'm saying? We can just see it just says shots right here, you know what I'm saying? With a 20 in the center and everything like that. No sort of embossment, no sort of uh, no sort of drop shadow, no, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? No sort of borders or anything like that kind of thing. Definitely a little bit of a disappointment, but it certainly is what it is, especially since I'm so used to Mexican cigarette packaging just having so much embossment and everything like that. It is a little bit odd to get a pack of cigarettes from Mexico, which has literally zero embossment, yet it's still a hard pack. Certainly a little bit, a little bit odd, but certainly no complaints on my behalf either way, that is for sure. But it just says shots right there as said, you know what I'm saying? We can just see that metallic silver line right there. No Montana on the top of the packaging, which is more proof that they're kind of trying to phase out the whole Montana logo or the whole Montana brand and everything like that and just make it into the shots brand and everything like that you know what i'm saying and then we could just see the two red bars right there just going in right over the silver line right here with a bunch of red sort of like lighter red lines going all the way down right there you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf not a terrible look on the top of the packaging that is for sure just no embossment which is a little bit disappointing but i can't complain too much you know what i'm saying i certainly can't complain too much next up though we have the bottom of the packaging which is literally the exact same as the top there is no differences it's the exact same as the top of the packaging, you know what I'm saying? There are literally no differences, you know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and move on to the warning labels on this pack of cigarettes right here. Now that I've covered the front of the packaging, the side of the packaging, the top of the packaging, and the bottom of the packaging, you know what I'm saying? So moving on to the warning label on the side of the packaging right here, we can just see it just says, Fumar Puede Agravar El Dano Por COVID-19, which of course just means smoking can aggravate COVID-19. And I'm just going to go and take a sip of water real quick. Oh my goodness, my throat is a little bit dry but that just means smoking can aggravate COVID-19 and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Pretty basic stuff, pretty much what they say on a lot of packs of cigarettes and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Then moving on to the back of the packaging right here, we can just see it just says caveat, Secretary of Health, and it just says El Consumo de Tobacco Aumenta Hasta en Vientados Vices El Risigo de Dasarlo uh, Cancer de Pulmon. Um, I know I'm probably butchering that, but I'm trying my hardest to get a blanche and I'm pretty sure that just means consuming tobacco uh, can give you cancer of the lung. It's pretty much, pretty much what it means, I'm assuming, you know what I'm saying? Then under that, we can just see that it just says contains tar, and it just says responsible, uh, it just says responsible uh, de la mayora uh, de los cancerous producios por el consumo de, de tobacco, uh, which just means, uh, I would assume, responsible for the majority of cancers produced by tobacco. I would assume it means that, you know what I'm saying? And then we could just see under here, it just says C. Queris, uh Dejar de Fumar, Lama L, uh, 800-911-2000, which of course just means that if you want to quit smoking, that you then you can call this number right here to help you quit smoking and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? This is indeed their quit smoking number for Mexico. Feel free to call it if you guys would like to, you know what I'm saying? Although do not blame me for any international phone charges or anything like that, unless you live in Mexico, that is for sure. You know what I'm saying? Which if you got an international phone charge, I will be very confused, that is for sure. You know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado though, now that I've got it covered, all of the packaging and everything like that it is now time for me to go ahead and just summarize my thoughts on the packaging just real quick i'm not a fan and moving on to the actual pack and everything like that you know what i'm saying overall it seems to be decent quality but i really won't know any more than that until i actually get the cellophane all off and everything like that so i do think without further ado it is now time for me to go ahead and get the cellophane all off the pack of cigarettes right here the montana shots red 100 cigarettes from mexico and go ahead and let you guys know what the quality of the packaging is and then after that i'm going to go ahead and get the pack of cigarettes all opened up right off the bat 
wow, I can smell these right off the back kind of thing. I can just smell them. Very, very, very potent smell, that is for sure. Man, I literally just opened that. I literally just opened the plastic and I was like, what's that smell kind of thing? And then I was like, wow, it's the cigarettes. Such a potent smell, such a potent smell. Honestly, with that smell being as potent as it is, I'm certainly hoping for a very, very good cigarette, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? But the overall quality of the pack and everything like that. This is not per se a round corner box, but it is indeed more of a round corner box than not, that is for sure. But because it's not a round corner box, it's certainly not as low quality as one, that is for sure. So this is a pretty good quality box. The overall texture of the packaging and everything like that is very much sort of a sticky, matty gloss kind of thing. Definitely just very sticky, not really any texture changes or anything like that. It's pretty much just feels like printed very heavy paper and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? To be expected, that is for sure. But I do think without further ado though, it is now time for me to go ahead and get this pack of cigarettes right here, all opened up, and go ahead and let you guys know what the Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico actually look like. But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get it all opened up. Nothing on the flap right here. We can just see it's just red right there, you know what I'm saying? Nothing interesting going on, sadly. And we can see that the insert right here is a very, very interesting shape. That I keep getting surprised, you know what I'm saying? I keep getting surprised. I don't know why I keep getting surprised because every single insert right here is just like a completely different shape and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? This one starts like all the way at the top and then it goes down and then it goes down even more and then it goes back all the way up very very interesting you know what i'm saying it's just normal white and everything like that you know what i'm saying matching the background right here and overall and there's not really much to say about it besides it having an interesting design i definitely do think that this is actually a really good design though because i'm figuring that this will actually make it a lot easier to get my first cigarette of the pack all out and everything like that so certainly no complaints on my behalf that is a good little bit of thought that is for sure the foil itself just has the logo we can see right here on the top of the foil right there with just a bunch of lines going down all the way through it and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Like the lines over here, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, but I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and just see what the texture of the packaging is, and is like and everything like that. The texture of the packaging is very much paper-like foil, that is for sure, and I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and get the foil all out, see how easily it rips out. Ripped out super easily, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, and let's go ahead and get one of these cigarettes out. Now, does that make it easier? Wow, that actually does make it just a little bit easier. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm just going to go ahead and snap this pack of cigarettes all back closed and everything like that, and go ahead and take a look at what this cigarette actually looks like, which I will admit is a very very, very cool, very, very unique look. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. At a glance, this just looks like a normal sort of cork style filter and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But it is not. It is not a cork style filter, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? It's just a brown filter and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm assuming signifying that this is indeed a full flavor, and certainly no complaints on my behalf. We can just see there's a bunch of lines just going all the way up the filter, just like that, kind of like diagonally, yet vertically and everything like that, just like on the packaging, which honestly is something I do like. I like the continuity between the packaging and the cigarette itself, you know what I'm saying? But under that, we can just see it just goes to a little bit of a darker brown right there, you know what I'm saying? And we can just see it just says shots right there, nothing in the center of the O right there. I think that's just a bit too small to print a 20 on and everything like that. And then we can just see the two lines right there. You know what I'm saying? And under that, there's just a nice red line right there. And then once again, just a lighter brown right there. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is a pretty unique look for a cigarette, which is in my personal opinion, at least definitely a budget cigarette, which has kind of disappointing packaging. This is a really, really unique look for a cigarette with kind of disappointing packaging, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf. I'm just gonna go and take another sip of water real quick. Oh my goodness, my throat is certainly very, very dry right now, that is for sure. But overall though, yeah. The cigarette looks pretty good, pretty pretty cool. I got to so the cigarette looks pretty good. It does look pretty good. I certainly got to give it credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? As said though, just a bunch of lines going up right there with the with the lines themselves being a very very nice light sort of almost beige color and everything like that. And then in beige right here, we can just see it just says shots right there. You know and I'm saying with the two sort of bars right there. And then under that, it just says it just has red right there. Very very nice light red. And then very much beige under that as well. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. A pretty cool look that is for sure. Is there any perforation? on this wow is this a 100 size cigarette with no perforation i think i might actually be impressed by this cigarette right now you do not see a lot of 100 size cigarettes without perforation is this seriously oh no i think i was wrong oh man i think i need glasses i swear i don't think i thought i saw perforation for a minute there but i honestly do not think Unless it's like literally too small for me to see, I don't think there is any perforation on this cigarette at all. That is crazy, you know what I'm saying? That is crazy. And just a little bit of an up close look of the cigarette itself, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. It looks pretty good. I love how the filter looks and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think there's any perforation on this cigarette. But besides the filter and everything like that, the rest of the cigarette just looks like a normal cigarette, just normal white paper and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. But smelling this cigarette right off the bat, it actually smells very, very, very interesting and a lot different from any other Mexican cigarette I've smoked so far. Wow. 
it almost has sort of like a caramelly chocolate sort of smell. That is so weird. That is so weird. My feet are falling asleep. I forgot my chair today. Oh my goodness, my feet are falling asleep. You know what I'm saying? It feels like I'm back in Mexico sitting on the ground because I didn't bring my chair with me to Mexico. Oh my goodness, my feet are falling asleep right now. My feet are falling asleep right now. I cannot believe this. I'm just gonna take a break for a moment and just go ahead and let my feet not fall asleep as much, you know what I'm saying? Let my feet not fall asleep. Let them just wake up just a little bit and then I'm gonna get back to just reviewing it and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But wow it's almost like a caramelly chocolate sort of smell that is so cool i'm just gonna go ahead and smell the inside of the pack real quick as well wow very much a tobacco-y caramelly almost chocolate smell and it's very odd because that's kind of if i had to if i had to say it's been a while since i've smoked a southern cut i will admit but that's kind of i want to say the sort of smell you get off of a marlboro southern cut i will be very 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 happy if these taste like a Marlboro Southern Cut. I'm still definitely expecting it to be more sour than sweet, that is for sure. But if this tastes sweet, I'm gonna be so happy to get a blast. So I am certainly gonna be so happy. But I do think without further ado, that's just about everything I wanted to cover about the cigarette itself. It's pretty high quality, you know what I'm saying? It has a pretty cool design on it and everything like that. I gotta give it credit where credit is due. I might not be the biggest fan of the packaging overall, but I do like how the cigarette looks and I like the brand continuity and everything like that kind of thing. They literally kept the same exact shots logo with the lines going vertically and horizontally and they're actually on the cigarette. If you're looking at it like that, they're actually going the same way too. That is so cool. You know what I'm saying? I love how it looks overall. And then we got the red band right there signifying that these are indeed full flavors. I honestly am a really big fan of how this cigarette looks and it's definitely gonna be getting some points because of that. Overall though, as said, this cigarette smells amazing, smells almost chocolatey, which is like almost like very, very sweet chocolatey tobacco, which is very, very interesting. You definitely get a lot of tobacco smell in there as well, but definitely some sort of caramelly chocolate smell as well. You know what I'm saying? No complaints. My behalf and the overall blend of the tobacco is very much, I definitely have to say a medium blend. It's not really light per se. There are light, a lot of light particles in it, but there's also a lot of dark particles in it. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And honestly, I think I've just remembered what this cigarette smells like. It almost smells like the American Spirit Blacks, the American Spirit Perroque blends. That's almost what this smells like. Very, very interesting. If it tastes like the American Spirit Blacks, if it tastes like the Marlboro Southern Cuts, I will certainly be very happy, that is for sure. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket, which I forgot to do before the video, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket, you know what I'm saying? And go ahead and get the shot, the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico all lit up and go ahead and let you guys know what I actually think about, well, these cigarettes right here, you know what I'm saying? I do think without further ado though, let's go ahead and get the cigarette lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, no sir, no sir. So right off the bat, definitely a very lot, uh, a very large amount of sort of bitter taste kind of thing from the lighter fluid and everything like that, you know what I'm saying, to be expected. And I will admit, this is my first cigarette in probably about 30 minutes, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? Right off the bat. Huh. It's not like overly sweet or something like that kind of thing, like I was expecting, or like, I, well, not, not like I was expecting, I wasn't really expecting that, like I was hoping, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I hope that these were gonna taste, taste like the Marlboro Southern Cup, but I'm not really getting that sort of taste. I'm gonna go and take another hit real quick, and then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what the taste is actually like. Okay, so the taste in my personal opinion, is very much mostly, as predicted, a sort of sour taste. But unlike a lot of other full flavored Mexican cigarettes that I've tried so far, like the Marlboro Reds, like the Pharaohs, filtered and everything like that kind of thing, these are more like the Chesterfield Oranges, I definitely have to say, where there's a decent amount of sourness in there, but there's also a decent amount of sweetness in there as well, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And right off the bat, I do also think these probably need to be, uh, I do think that these probably need to be packed as well just because the ash right here it's very very ashy kind of thing it's not really condensing super well i definitely have to say these probably need to be packed as well so i'm probably going to pack my pack after this video you know what i'm saying but overall though the taste is definitely a lot more to my preference than not that is for sure i'm not really one for sour cigarettes but this does have a very very nice sort of sweet tinge to it that is for sure so certainly no complaints on my behalf let's go and test the body real quick though 
The body is actually really, really, really big. I was not expecting that, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I was not expecting that, that is for sure. Mainly just because, well, I figured there would be perforation on the filter and everything like that. This is a 100 size cigarette, and 100 size cigarettes do typically have perforation on the filter, but this has no perforation, so the body is just going to be absolutely massive, which certainly no complaints on my behalf about, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? And how rough are these and everything like that? I definitely also have to say, because of that lack of perforation and everything like that, these are actually pretty smooth. The amount of smoke you get in is just 100% smoke. You get like no air in it or anything and everything like that kind of thing, which honestly, these are pretty smooth because of that. I gotta play on a sale. I definitely have to say, these are not really like a five out of 10 on smoothness. These are definitely more like a three out of 10 at the moment, at least, you know what I'm saying? With one being the smoothest and 10 being the roughest, these are definitely about a three out of 10 in my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Overall though, yeah, no complaints on my behalf. It's burning pretty quickly. This is definitely something that would be good as a brake cigarette or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Even the 100 size, that is for sure. If this was a normal size, we'd already be done with the cigarette and I have not really taken all that many hits. I've been talking throughout a lot of the cigarette and everything like that, but it certainly does burn pretty quickly, that is for sure. Overall though, the filter is getting very, very yellow and it definitely is getting decently mushy as well. So it's gonna be losing a point or two because of that, but overall certainly no complaints on my behalf. And looking at the Looking at the filter sort of consistency, it does have a very interesting consistency that is for sure. It looks a lot more like, I definitely have to say like insulation or something like that than cotton, like a lot of cigarettes do in the United States. Very, very interesting. A little bit, a little bit scary on that one, but I'm gonna smoke it nonetheless, you know what I'm saying? Same, but overall though, not a terrible cigarette, not a terrible cigarette, and honestly something I really am enjoying. <sighs> Compared to other cigarettes I've smoked so far in Mexico, and out of Mexico. What cigarette do I think this compares to? In Mexico, I definitely think this compares a lot to the Chesterfield oranges in my personal opinion. And outside of Mexico, I definitely have to say this is a lot more like maybe the Camel Reds or the Camel Blues or something like that in my personal opinion at least. You do definitely get a very, very nice sweet tinge also with a very nice sour tinge as well. But overall, it's just a very nice tobacco taste. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Definitely about, I'd have to say probably 50, I was about to say 60 sour, 40, 40 sweet, but I definitely have to say it's probably about 50, 50 sweet and sour, you know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Might not be sour enough to be quite to my preference, that is for sure, but it's very, very close and close enough where I'm not gonna take any points off for the taste or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? It is a good taste with very little to no chemical taste in there as well. There's almost no chemical taste in these cigarettes. I am honestly very impressed because that's something that I've experienced a lot with Mexican cigarettes as well. Kind of thing you get a decent amount of chemically taste. These have almost no chemically taste. This is honestly, this cigarette right here, the Montana Shots Red 100s, the Montana Shots in general, seem to be a little bit of an underdog, you know what I'm saying? I do think without further ado though, it is now time for me to go ahead and well, finish off the cigarette. I'm gonna go ahead and test the body one more time. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the last couple hits and go ahead and let you guys know what my final thoughts are on the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? I do think without further ado though, I'm just gonna go ahead and test the body one more time body right at the end is pretty big as well you know what i'm saying certainly no complaints on my behalf but i do think i have further do i'm just gonna go and take the last one or two hits you know what i'm saying what i'm saying Alrighty though i think that's just about all there was to the cigarette definitely burned very very quickly that is for sure you know what i'm saying just gonna go ahead and put out the rest of the ash and everything like that gotta make sure i don't cause no forest fires although if i did i'd have the opportunity to beat Smokey the bear's ass and everything like that you know what i'm saying although i will admit i do think he'd probably beat my ass that is for sure but overall what are my thoughts on well the montana shots red 100 cigarettes you know what i'm saying and what is the rating i'm thinking for these cigarettes right here well right off the bat i'm not really the biggest fan of the packaging that is for sure the packaging i don't really think it's all that good of a look kind of thing. I don't really think it's super distinct. <coughs> oh man, my throat is dying right now. I just gotta take a little bit of a sip of water real quick, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying. These might've been a little bit more rough than I thought, that is for sure. But overall, I'm just really not the biggest fan of the packaging, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I don't really think it's iconic look. I don't really think it's a retro look. I don't really think it's all that good of a look overall. There are some things I do like about it, like how the 20 on the inside of the pack is, or on the inside of the shots right there. That is a cool little gimmick and everything like that kind of thing, but there is no sort of embossment or anything like that to bring it back. I love embossment. I definitely give it points for the embossment, but there is no embossment overall. This is definitely very much a budget type style cigarette and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? But overall, the packaging is certainly not the worst thing in the world. I might not be the biggest fan, but 
I really, really do like very pretty packaging. That is for sure, you know what I'm saying? And this is by no means pretty packaging. It is just packaging for the sake of packaging, you know what I'm saying? Not the worst look in the world, but definitely below average in my personal opinion. Overall though, the look of the cigarettes themselves and the foil on the inside look pretty nice. I could put on the look of the cigarettes themselves is very, very unique, you know what I'm saying? I love how the cigarettes look and definitely something I will be giving these cigarettes for, points for, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? because, well, it matches the packaging on the outside, you know what I'm saying? It matches the packaging on the outside, and I gotta give them some credit for brand continuity. They did a better job with brand continuity with how the filter looks and everything like that than most cigarettes do in the United States, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? So certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. Overall though, how was the smoking experience of the cigarette itself? I definitely have to say the smoking experience of the cigarette itself was pretty solid. Overall though, I think it's very comparable to something like, let's say the Chesterfield Oranges, to something in the United States, like let's say the 1839 Reds or the Montego Reds, or like let's say the Camel Reds or the Camel Blues or something like that kind of thing. Very much a sweet and sour sort of taste. Definitely that sweet, that sourness is very, very intense. That is for sure. Whereas the sweetness is just kind of in the background. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about it either way. And overall though, the body was very, very large, a lot bigger than I was expecting. That is for sure. And definitely, Decently smooth as well. Definitely decently smooth as well. The Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes were decently smooth as well. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Overall though, what is the rating I'm thinking for? Well, the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico. You know what I'm saying? What is the rating I'm thinking for these cigarettes right here? Well, overall though, I will admit, these have surpassed my expectations by far. I thought that these were just going to be kind of like a typical sort of very, very sour with a little bit of chemical taste in there and everything like that. And that is one thing I forgot to mention when I was going over my thoughts and everything like that kind of thing, that these really do not have any chemical taste in there as well. There is a little bit of like a metallic taste or something like that, but it's very, very hard to notice. And I definitely have to say, if you're not looking for it, you're not going to notice it. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? So overall though, overall a very, very nice, high quality smoke for honestly a decent price. But what is the rating I'm thinking for? Well, these cigarettes right here, the Montana Shots Red 100s. For the packaging, it's gonna be getting a below average score. For the how the cigarette looks and everything like that, it's gonna be getting very much an above average score, that is for sure. And for how the cigarette tastes and everything like that, well, it's not really the two, it's not really the cigarette that is exactly to my preference and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? It's by no means bad, that is for sure. And it's a lot better than some of the other cigarettes I've tried in Mexico, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? So as such, it's gonna be getting a pretty solid rating. And the rating I'm thinking for, well, these cigarettes right here, for these cigarettes right here is probably going to be, it's hard because I don't really like the packaging all that much, but I'm a pretty big fan of how the cigarette smokes. And in all honesty, packaging, I love it. I think it should be part of the rating and everything like that kind of thing because the packaging is really what determines if somebody is gonna buy the cigarette and everything like that kind of thing. If it has hideous packaging, nobody's ever gonna buy the cigarette, no matter how good of a cigarette it is and everything like that kind of thing. And so as and so as such, it can't really get the best rating in the world, but this is still a really, really good cigarette overall, especially compared to a lot of other cigarettes that I've tried in Mexico. Overall, I think I'm gonna be giving these, I feel like a 7.5 out of 10 is definitely deserved, but I feel like these are better than a 7.5 out of 10. I don't like the packaging and the filter definitely does get a little bit mushy towards the end. Not really all that mushy though. Definitely surprisingly not mushy, that is for sure. So only minor points taken off for that. And definitely the majority of the points taken off from this cigarette right here are from the packaging. And as such, I think it'll be getting a solid eight out of 10. You know what I'm saying? I think an eight out of 10 is definitely very, very, very deserving for a well Montana red cigarettes from Mexico. You know what I'm saying? But I do think without further ado though, it is now time for me to go ahead and end the video right here. Those were indeed my final thoughts on, well, as said, the Montana red one, the Montana, <laughs> the, the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes from Mexico, you know what I'm saying? Get my words all jumbled up just a little bit, but it certainly is what it is. Overall though, as said, a solid eight out of 10, definitely something that is comparable to something like, say, like let's say the Montego Reds or the 19 or the 1839 Reds or something like that. Something that's very comparable to a budget cigarette in the United States and also tastes somewhat similar to something like, let's say, the Camel Blues or the Camel Reds, in my personal opinion, at least. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, although definitely you can tell that these are just a little bit lower quality, but they smell amazing. I could plan to say they smell amazing. And honestly, they taste pretty good as well. So certainly no complaints on my behalf. And an eight out of 10 is definitely deserved for these cigarettes right here. But I do think without further ado, that is just about all I wanted to say about the Monte, the, about the Montego. I keep wanting to say Montego now since I said that these are kind of like the Montego Reds. But without further ado, it is now time for me to go and end this video right here. If you guys enjoyed watching my review of the Montana Shots Red 100 cigarettes, I almost said Montego again. Of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Or if you guys just enjoyed the video overall, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, my second channel, all in the description. I'm blowing them saying, go check it all out. But until the next one, y'all, stay safe and peace. Never a great one.